All right. So speaking of life is unfair and all of that, all that, all that, right? So this guy, Daryl, Daryl, Daryl Hughes. Okay. I read his book. Let me see if I can tell you what his book is. Let's go to Kindu app. Uh, if you are interested in growing your YouTube channel, it may work for you, right? Uh, my YouTube channel, this one you're watching, was started in 2016. And you can see on my screen right there, in the last 48 hours, we have 199 views, right? The last 60 minutes, we have three views. My channel is not algorithms, agri uh, algorithm friendly or organic friendly, I like to call it. It's just not. Why? I don't know it doesn't matter to me I have uh, I have ways of building my business that I don't have to depend on that right but his book is a YouTube formula I read his book uh, you know put some of his practice his work to practice and see if we could do something about it eventually I had to squash it and focus on what I do best which is uh, conversions I learned how to, I know how to convert sales uh, with small traffic and I also know how to get traffic to my website, um, my actual home website outside of YouTube. Uh, so that's what I focus on. I still leverage YouTube more so as a, a live streaming platform and just to put out the content and build a catalog of all of this content. So anyone I talk to, I can reference them, they could go watch. So, you know, from that we have a little token of uh, somewhere between 100 and 200 views every 48 hours. It's more than enough for us to build a million dollar business here so now with that being said um, he's he did a video here how to grow on YouTube channel uh, channel is stock what to do right so now it depends on what you mean by channel is stock what to do but I've watched the video and it's just repeating the same whatever you know uh, then it takes like half of the time to talk about mindset right which is fine because I believe that mindset also in business is a uh, mindset uh, it's 95 percent of business okay uh, i was talking to anton the other day and he said it's 95 percent your patience right anton daniels right and it's true it's 95 percent patience but it's not that's not just that's not something that youtube monopolized it's actually in business too right in business uh, i like to lump patience together with consistency right uh because those two things will be tested because there's going to be this long period of time. Now, the, 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 the growth of any platform that will ever grow is going to be exponential in nature. Meaning, like, let's say on an on a, on a 18-month scale, the first six months is going to be extremely, extremely difficult, okay? Extremely difficult. It's going to be one of the most difficult things you've ever done, having to wait, a.k.a. patience, and be consistent in the same breath right so it's it's extremely difficult but i thought i'll go in the comment area and see if there's some comments here you know people always talk about mr beast mr beast spend a hundred thousand dollars per video are you ready to spend that kind of money on videos if you're not don't compare yourself to mr beast because what he's spending money on are extremely entertaining stuff that people will watch anyway from zero to end in addition to great filmmaking in addition to the fact that it's already huge of course it did not get huge on day one right it started from somewhere but that's just additional factors it's already known too. people there are people that literally wait two months maybe every week not two months I think he does every week or every other week or so to watch his next video and he has he's the largest channel this is the guy that that mentored him or that continues to help him so he knows what he's talking about, but there's also variables beyond your control, right? For example, are you going to spend $100,000 on a video? Probably not, okay? But there's something that's unique with you. There's something that you know how to do and other people don't know how to do. That's precisely what you need to bring to YouTube, okay? Because there's so many creators. That's precisely what you need to bring to YouTube and then you charge accordingly to feed your family. Or to sustain your boat or to do things in a sustainable way all right uh channels like uh lofi girl and Ch chilled cow don't have new scenes every five to seven seconds so again that's the skill set that some people will say hey change up the scenes every few seconds to keep interrupting the patterns in the eyes maybe maybe not there are people that have tried that but because they have a brand new channel 
it's not working out exactly like that and they get frustrated after wasting hours trying to chop up clips okay so again i'm just shedding some lights on some of the different variables what if most channels in my niche don't care about production value and are still getting thousands of views see this is the confusion right here right they're getting thousands of views because of variables and factors that you may never find out okay whichever one you can see you can see okay anything you see me put out on this channel right here is because if it lasts longer it's because i enjoy doing it okay so for example right now i just discovered a niche that i really enjoy doing which is comment reactions which is what you're watching right here right but i don't enjoy the live stream aspect of it i just don't okay and uh, why don't i enjoy it um well first of all my time is worth gold literally it's worth fifteen hundred dollars an hour literally right so no i cannot sit for one hour and and not be in control of the schedule i want to do this on my own time if i want i want to wake up in the middle of the night and record this then i can have my assistants put them out over time and that's what we're going to be doing starting next week that's why we're not having live stream very simple okay so and um and and so it's very key to understand that whatever you're going to bring into any market space either be it youtube or anything like that you need to find your own little niche something you enjoy doing first and foremost some people will kick against that you know you don't have to enjoy doing no no so in order to help those people something you enjoy doing but also extremely productive that help you become a producer in the marketplace because at the end of the day the money you're gonna make is gonna be a function of the value you bring to the marketplace right and when I say value you bring to the marketplace specifically how many people you're gonna touch with your value okay if all if, if you can only serve one people in one week you're not gonna get paid that much okay if you can serve multiple people in uh, in one in one week you're gonna get paid a lot right and obviously so it's a function of both quality and quantity of the people you serve right so it's the same thing when it comes to YouTube I definitely got to change my chair because this is this is definitely becoming terrible <laughs> right so you understand what I'm saying so um, he sits down here he talks about the um, and I think that's why mindset uh, because honestly sometimes you have to just listen over and over to mindset talks and then one day something is going to click so but my advice at this point in time before we even dig in let me see if there's any comments below uh yeah my advice is to really find your own niche all right and then yes great filmmaking does help quantity does help okay but quantity you're gonna have quantity to the extent that you break your back then obviously in the long run won't help if you don't keep putting out videos right so that's why my strength on this YouTube channel is that we put out videos as much as we can. And the weakness on this particular channel is that it's not organic, it's not algorithm friendly. The algorithm for weird reasons I don't understand, does not like it, but it's my personal brand name. Okay, and it's working personal personally for me in my business. Uh because we can control the variable that we can control, which is putting out content that at least in any given video we know at least 10 people will find value in and out of those 10 people one person buys something worth ten thousand dollars it's absolutely worth it you know so and that's that's what we're working with here we don't try to monetize on YouTube it's just a marketing piece another marketing piece out there in addition to the books in addition to the webinars in addition to all the ads on Facebook and stuff like that definitely need more of the channel breakdowns with analytics yeah so overthinking the stuff you, you get into data analytics you should understand data analytics but there's limitations to how much analytics can help you um my analytics tells me that hey search traffic is your thing just keep doing that and that this that's it we put out content that are search en engine optimized but also uh brand optimized we attract a lot of people that are following other brands as you can imagine here yep so that's what i had to say on the